In order to create a banner ad unit in your AdMob account and then implement it on your app's code, you need to go through the following steps. You must remember to complete all of these steps to start showing ads in this ad unit. In order to do that, you need to first sign into your AdMob account at apps.admob.com. Then click Apps in the sidebar. Select the name of the app you're creating this unit for. If you don't see it in the list of recent apps, you can click Add App to add a new app or click View All Apps to search a list of all the apps you've added to AdMob. Then click Add Units in the sidebar. Followed by clicking on Add Add Unit. Once you're done with that, click Select for the banner ad format. Enter a name for this ad unit. Google recommends that you include relevant information such as ad format and location in your app to make it easier to identify later. Although optional, it is always a good idea to complete the advanced settings for this ad unit. Number 1. Ad Type Choose the ad types allowed to be shown in this ad unit. You can choose any combination of ad types by checking the boxes. Unchecking all of the boxes will result in an error. You must choose at least one ad type for each ad unit. To try and help maximize revenue for this ad unit, Google suggests checking all of the boxes. Number 2. Automatic Refresh This determines how often a new ad request is generated for this ad unit. It is recommended that you select Google Optimized to let AdMob manage the refresh rate for you. The Google Optimized rate is calculated using AdMob historical data to ensure the ads shown in your ad units are being refreshed at the best rate for banner ads. You may also set a custom refresh rate of 30 to 150 seconds or disable automatic refresh rate completely. And then last but not the least, click on Create Ad Unit. It is very important to know that you must follow the instructions in the Google Developers Get Started Guide to implement this ad unit in your app, whether Android or iOS, in order for it to start showing ads. For this, you will need your app ID or ad unit ID during implementation. And voila! You've just created your first banner ad from AdMob.